to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Oh, 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 oh. Sing it unto the Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You must lay aside still on point two let's hurry up lay aside wrong behavioral traits we're still on that point two mental transformation first peter 2 verse 1 please give it to us quickly first peter 2 verse 1 anger envy pride bitterness dishonor all these traits that have kept you down this is the year you make up your mind i'm not gossiping about people because I found out everybody I'm gossiping about has moved forward and left me alone. This year, I want to move forward. At least let somebody talk about me. The Bible says, wherefore? Doing what? Laying aside. Laying aside. All malice and guile and hypocrisies and envies and what? Evil speaking. There are some people when you sit down close to them five minutes your spirit is down because they, they have what we call evil speakings always bad news always what someone said no you must change you must change anger you must lay it aside this year god open a door your anger closed it god open a door your anger closed it your husband was coming, your anger drove him. Your wife was almost arriving, your anger sent her away. This year, make up your mind that anger will not destroy my destiny. There are people who, do, you were at the verge of breakthroughs, but this anger, rage, ha, that's how we are in our family. I ask my mother, we're all like that. When we're angry, just stay away, please. I want you to maximize this multiplied grace. The one you had last year it has increased now so there's no excuse maximize the grace and say no to anger because it will destroy you envy envy you never do anything with your life you watch people have results and you are looking for what they do let me tell you something about envy it never affects the one who you are talking about or the one you are envious it's, it's such a frustrating venture it doesn't touch the bear even if it at least let it touch it it's better to fight directly fighting you sit down and tie yourself down and then the unfortunate thing is the bible says the part of the justice as a shining light so for how long will you hold it envy pride this year as a family of faith and as individuals we must run away from pride brothers and sisters pride is a killer are we together believing you can make it without god looking down on others pushing people down to show you are successful no lay it down bitterness there are people who just say i'm not happy why say this world is a sad world hey you have a long journey a long journey to go say, i'm just sad why is everywhere like this the place is moody and the devil says this is exactly what i'm looking for this year i choose to be joyful the bible says, rejoice always it didn't say rejoice when you have money rejoice always and in case you forget again i say rejoice 
Number three, the third area the Lord wants us to focus on is our health. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 12 to 20, we don't have the time to read it. Our health. The Bible tells you authoritatively that your body is the temple of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right? Everyone say it. Say my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Say one more time. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Listen. It honors God for you to take care of your body. Are we together? This year, the way you punished your body in 2015, you have to rethink this year. Are we together? It's very important. You must live a healthy and a balanced life. No laziness and no overstressing yourself. That's the balance. There are those who are sluggish and lazy. Spiritually, it flows down. Intellectually, it now culminates physically. Inertia for everything. It takes you two days to do what five minutes can do. Laziness is still an insult to the body. And then overstressing yourself. Hallelujah. When you read about the wealth revival, you will know that what killed the pioneer of the wealth revival was not necessarily any demonic attack. He literally stretched himself to death. No matter how busy you are, I believe that if I'm not mistaken, I probably will, may be one of the busiest people among us here. But you must still create time to rest. You may not have quantity of time, but you must have quality. Eat well. God is faithful. Please eat well this year. Don't punish yourself. You need to add one more ingredient that you just look and say, if I add this, no. What if you don't add it and you die? You see, you, you think intelligently. This year, please, please. We are at different levels, but pay serious attention to your health. When you really fall sick, you will find out that all you have is time and your life. Are we together? You can have all the money in this world. If you play with your health, MOG, all the men of God here, listen, please. Find time to rest. Walk your life out, but rest. When you preach, they will mourn you for seven days and people will continue preaching. Are we together? I shared with you my story when the Lord delivered me and showed me, told me to look at the crucifix. And for the first time I realized I did not die for the world. No, my name is not Jesus. My name is Joshua Selman. The Hebrew Joshua means Jehoshua. Yes, Jesus, but I am not Jesus of Nazareth. My father was not a carpenter. And so I realized that I am an ambassador, not the Christ. So you must rest. One of the most comforting scriptures for me, because everything, once there's no scriptural backing, I don't believe it. He says, and God rested. Come on now. Not an angels, and God. Whether you call it sleeping or ceasing from work, I know that at that period he didn't do anything. Do it. He said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. It's not just the mind to walk, it's the mind to rest. How many people go to hospitals today and doctors tell them, honestly, there's nothing wrong. They say, look, I know what, I'm the one feeling what is wrong. They say, there's nothing, we've checked. Just rest. And they go back and rest and they get up strong. Sleep is a mystery. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sleep is a mystery. God used it to do a lot of things. You can still advance the kingdom even as you rest it was in adam's sleep that eve came it was in jacob's sleep that he had a dream it was in joseph's sleep that he had direction for where to run away with jesus sometimes after you have worshiped and run around sleep your way into the revelation that you wake up with and it will move you oh yes absolutely if jacob did not sleep he would never know that was the gate of heaven his senses were alive looking for breakthrough and sleep and he saw angels. If sleep will give me an encounter, I will sleep. 
because i need it i need serious encounters this year if you don't see it when you are awake why don't you sleep it will rest well your personal hygiene that's all right your personal hygiene i won't talk much there i'm not a medical practitioner but i'm one who intends to live long listen listen take care of yourself and your personal hygiene please don't say it does not matter do not let the financial situation in your pocket reflect in your life and your body you live anyhow you wear clothes smelling sweat all around you don't care you just smell it and say is it too bad your neighbor smells and no no don't just laugh i have to say it i have the responsibility to say it i've told us about that bathing you do with three-quarter bucket somebody as tall as me you run and enter and while you are talking in less than one your phone is ringing before it finishes ringing five or six times you are out <laughs> my brother you didn't bath i i assure you you didn't bath if that's what you have been doing it must change your health food that has spoiled you are there it is said you are i can still warm it if it has spot let it go we are still going to have miracle services but i'm saying we can minimize casualties for nothing <laughs> hallelujah number four number four please write number four the fourth area finances god wants us to focus and experience multiplied grace Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 9 it's our year of multiplied grace and influence and that even in the area of finances very quickly Deuteronomy 29 verse 9 I'd like us to read everyone please one to read what's the condition is a key therefore keep these words of this covenant and he said do them he didn't just say keep them in your jot and leave them there he said do them practice them in truth he says that you must prosper write the following to guide us through our finances number one set clear financial goals set clear financial goals this year and work with the holy spirit to achieve them I want to be rich is a mirage. You, you'll never get blessed that way. I want to be rich will never get you rich. Listen, there is a mystery about writing and clarity. The Bible says, write the vision. Then it says, make it plain. What is your financial target? Don't, don't write foolish, childish things. I need one bill. No, 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 no. Start gradually. Faith is not stupidity. Start gradually write something that is able to take you from where you are to the next level don't say how will it come leave that that's not your business you'll get frustrated when you are thinking of how it will come the bible says just like you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child nor the way of the wind you don't know how the wind comes you don't know how a seed becomes bones in a child is that not a mystery that a woman carries a seed and within the space of nine months that seed becomes bones hard bones becomes teeth that can stay for for hundreds of years and not just disintegrate and leave that's a mystery he said that one leave it to god your job is to get the seed in the womb of the woman the remaining activity is god's work there are certain things about the equation of success you can never understand there is a mystery in it that is exclusive to the office of god trying to understand it will frustrate you brothers and sisters keep your own part and watch the miracle work out set clear financial goals what is your financial goal for this year as a ministry we have financial goals in my personal life i have financial goals you must set financial goals number two to experience that grace in your finances master the laws of favor and abundance master the laws 
that govern the release of favor and abundance favor is a law preachers have said favor happens anyhow is a lie is a lie favor it is the the dispensing of favor that happens automatically favor is initiated by exact spiritual laws that can be understood and reproduced it may take time see i'm human i know that it's not easy but i'm telling you if you master those laws you have built yourself out from this mess that is eating up the earth master the laws of favor you can get the teachings financial dominion part one to four and the wealthy place part one to four please make sure you get this teaching sit with them sit with them understand what god has said and then practice the laws do them he said now that you know these things he said happy are you when you do them you've got to do them you've got to do them the laws of tithing i want you to pay attention to four laws when it comes to giving this year your tithing please look up let me preach to you i want you to be determined this year that you are going to be faithful in tithing first and foremost because you love the lord and second because you want to activate the operation of the blessing in your life don't say i'm poor how much do i have how much do i give god that's your way out that's your way out never forget i already shared with us that your tithing is like a spiritual circumcision remember our teaching the wealthy place that your tithing is a spiritual circumcision that authorizes god to come and partner with you melchizedek the high priest received the tithe of abraham and did what he spoke the blessing over him and the bible says christ today is our melchizedek what was the office of melchizedek what was the function he received tithe and prophesied on the givers so jesus in that office of melchizedek receives your tithe and releases activates the blessing and i told you what the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit that attracts to your life people opportunities and resources that's the blessing it's like an electromagnetic field when it comes upon your life everyone that comes within that circumference is compelled to respond to you in another way it's like a charm when it is on you have you heard people call you and say i don't know god just put it in my mind to bless you listen nobody gets up and blesses another person just by default if you are waiting for that you are dreaming something must compel them it's an operation of god called the father of spirits i don't want to start there are loaded messages for this year i don't want to go ahead of myself praise the lord there is a very extensive curriculum that will stretch you this year until you step into that dimension of grace very very important the father of spirits god gave me the revelation remember i taught us in james i think 226 or so he says for as the body without the spirit anything you do just from the flesh realm without a spirit component cannot work that business without the spirit will die your family without the spirit will die he said for the body without the spirit is dead so you must pay attention to practicing these laws when people in the shrine want to kill a man how do they do it they leave the man snoring in his room and use some enchantments is that true they invoke the spirit of that man you see it in nigerian films right and he appears that man is sleeping he's not even aware they called forth his spirit and separated it from his body and the spirit appeared in the shrine and then they gave the spirit instruction from today become unfaithful are we together from today become poor it's a programming upon his spirit and then the spirit returns to the body and the helpless body gets up and becomes a slave to prophecy it was not aware of that's the same way god operates he's called the father of spirits he can summon any spirit and give them instructions on your behalf so men don't know why they are just thinking about you and they say the lord led me venga the lord led me to show you ten thousand 
another person say ten thousand people say you are lucky no you are not lucky there is a spiritual climate responsible for that result this year force yourself to get it i must step into that climate that compels men i returned into this city i think two days ago as i was stepping in not even many people knew that i i, I think aside from the protocol not many people knew that i was around as soon as i arrived it was like a force that started compelling people apostle sir are you around i have a little gift for you someone brought hamper someone brought this and i said this thing works it's not about announcing oh, 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 oh. hands on your head in one minute and prophesy and say i'm breaking the back of poverty this year please pray i sensed an anointing that's why i was telling us to pray lay your hands on your head and prophesy it's a year of multiplied grace multiplied grace influenced by the spirit access to uncommon resources those outside make sure you are praying i will wipe the tears of my family this year what they could not do i'm about to arise god who had commanded light to shine out of darkness light to shine out of obscurity. Hallelujah. Psalm one one two, please, very quickly. Psalm one one two. Psalm 112. Four areas I want you to focus on. Under finances. One is your tithing. Please be determined this year. That you are going to be serious. Discipline yourself. Don't think it's a gimmick by men of God. Don't listen to those nonsense that newspapers carry around. Castigating men of God. Yes, I know that there are people who are driven whose God is their belly. But please, the mere existence of error does not mean you throw the baby and the bad water together. Don't stand. The Bible says, blessed is the man who does not walk in the, the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. He said, praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that fears the Lord, that delights greatly in his commands. Verse 2. Let's hurry up, media. Help us. His seed shall be mighty. That's influence upon the earth. He says the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Verse 3. I'd like you to read it and take it as a prophecy for your life. One to go. He says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endure it forever. Wealth and riches. Wealth and riches. Wealth and riches wealth and riches shall be in his house like the ark of god came upon the house of Oben edom and he began to prosper within three months Oben edom's life changed just because the ark came upon his house your worship offerings don't come to the house of god empty-handed see let me tell you let me tell you why many of us seem to be stranded in terms of having an offering to give or a worship offering because you are not a sower the bible says god gives seed to the sower 
if you say oh god please i don't want to come to your house just like that believe me god gives seed to the sower but you think when you hold that money you are coming to give a man of god to enrich the man no i've told you any man that truly fears god does not live off the resources of his members he lives off his obedience to kingdom principles it's a terrible thing to depend on your members to bless you you are tied to their mood swings the day they are ready to bless you no let me trust god for myself and believe in him as jehovah Jireh. your seats of honor i've shown you the mystery of sowing upwards look at me when you sow downwards you walk in divine health are you hearing what i'm saying you don't sow downward to step into prosperity you sow downwards to create a track record that will speak for you in the day of obscurity but when you want to step into a level you sow upwards you must learn this don't sow carelessly don't just look around you are not a habali say go and see beggars on the street and give five beggars money and your life will change please we are not practicing shamanism this is christianity are we together you must learn god's principles seeds of honor find people that carry graces and levels that you desire so in, we call it sowing into an anointing you are sowing into an anointing and it authorizes you to step into that possibility learn this learn this learn to sow into anointings that will lift you into that level you must practice this consistently this year finally kingdom building i call it kingdom investment bishop oyedepo used to shout this and say it with all his heart kenneth copeland would shout this again listen i'm telling you when you commit yourself to kingdom projects it will amaze you how god will step into your life how god will step into your life kingdom building is to find a need in the house of god and participate actively in meeting that need i want to encourage you this year that you must commit yourself find needs in the body of christ workers your departments someone can sit down and say ah koinonia needs a work clock three of us let's come together and buy for the house not joshua selman and you commit and god is watching you and you authorize increase in your life the bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth he said there is he that withholdeth more than his meat i want to ask you a question did the body of christ benefit from your resources last year that that may explain why you are where you are financially may god never give me any money that his house will not benefit in i say it again may it never come to me any money that comes into my life that the house of god cannot benefit in is a cost to me i'm sharing with you very deep secrets that can open your heavens there are times that people bring seeds all kinds of seeds and while i'm excited god says uh -uh, this seed is for the house of god quietly with Jesus joy not grudgingly saying God said you God is faithful was it yesterday or day before yesterday I was rejoicing someone sent the seed into my account I was smiling and the Lord told me internet transfer straight this ministry that ministry God you are faithful you won't destroy me if I die I die in your hands of let your finances be so flexible like Dr. Mike Mudok will say that God can do business with you. I was discussing with a prof last year, one, one of our daddies in area A, and he spoke to me. He said, son, tell the Lord you want to be his treasurer. Ah, that's, that statement resonated in my head. That man sat me down and started discussing with me his work with God from childhood and how god had been faithful in his life and in his old age he said ask the lord that he should make you his treasurer do you know what it means for god to make you his treasurer oh 
of God make me your treasurer in 2016? Can God trust you with heaven's resources? Do you have the flexibility to release it when he makes demands? It's my own. It's my money. I worked for it. It's my sweat. No. But thou shalt remember the Lord your God. Because you can forget. Thou shalt remember the Lord your God. He said, for it is he that giveth thee power. Please, give your way out of poverty this year. Sow your way out of poverty this year. Number five, this is the last one, and we'll pray. Relationships. I want you to pay attention to this, especially those outside. Please pay very close attention to what I'm saying. I want you to invest this year. Invest in godly and healthy relationships. Do you know the reason why doors never open for many of us? We don't have helpers in our lives. There's nobody you have honored enough to remember you in the days of adversity. There are people who don't have money but they never lack. There is always someone they can cry to. They honor somebody who remembers them in the days of pain. Listen, money is not everything. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe me, money is very important but money is not everything. Educate yourself enough to know that money does not do everything hallelujah went to the bank today with the protocol to collect my 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 atm my card had expired and i was going to collect it and one two one two I'm sure maybe one or two of them may even be here one two one two they just made things happen for us and within minutes we're out of that place the power of relationships relationships will give you what money cannot give you relationship will give you hectares of land that you don't have money to get are you hearing what i'm saying relationship will give you things there are people today who can stay in somebody's rented apartment and never pay because of relationship if you have to pay for everything in life is dangerous it will kill you relationships the key to relationship is honor and friendliness when you make people feel like idiots around you you will pay for it in the days to come are we together all that big man is him i'm a big man i'm this and that no you must learn to relate with people. hallelujah Ada is here many of you may not know him they were part of what aaron calls first second generation ENI. that's him there he came around this guy used to wash my clothes cook for me he did this almost every day that was his work oh. believe me when i tell you this it was marriage until he got married and he left do you think i'll ever forget him i would drop my last penny to see that he smiles he's called blessed by association how many of you remember that teaching he and i those days blessed by association I taught on the mystery on how people can enjoy the sweat of others because they have learned to connect. The Bible says, God told Abraham to go out. He said, and Lot went with him. Just by going with Abraham, he was implicated. Be blessed. It's called blessed by association. Who do you know today that can speak for you in high places? Don't say it does not matter. I learned this from my dad my dad has mastered the art of keeping relationships he knows almost everybody somewhere if it's military there must be a soldier that is his friend police there must be somebody that's a powerful life they take you to police station there's somebody who can advocate for you not to leave you to die there you are going to the court there is somebody who can speak for you i pray for you may god raise people this year that in any area there will be voices that will speak for you listen we suffer needlessly in life because we have money but we do not have voices that speak for us there's a business proposal there are five of you having it you have all the qualifications but you neglected relationships somebody you used to know who can now speak for you 
you are anointed but you ignored it because we pastors told you it's not important just pray and serve god no connect with people you don't connect with people because they are perfect connect with them now before it becomes every day makes it more expensive to connect connect and have a testimony that you drank gary together right and you will be able to partake of their bounty destiny help us you must look for these people and pray them into your life remember the bible talk, talks to us about naaman we talk a lot about naaman but we forget the little maid who encouraged him you know it was a little slave girl she said there is a prophet please talk to the king to allow you she persuaded him and he went to elisha elisha said go and bath and he was angry he said are there no other beautiful pools and the lady begged him when she pleaded with him he went to bath and his destiny changed connect with people don't ignore people this year and say this one cannot speak english we are the committee of beautiful girls we are the committee of of those who have we want we are the handsome guys we are the ones who are this we are the ones who are intelligent we are the ones who work in banks we are the business moguls that spirit cast it out this year in the mighty name of jesus christ learn to connect with people you don't know who is who this world is a very small world very very small world i've gone to places and i've been amazed at people who i used to know and how they have been of tremendous help You go somewhere and you are supposed to struggle and go through certain things and they facilitate it for you. When my international passport expired, one of our, he's a general, he's a, a, a chairman board of, of trustees. He went to, you know, just with his influence. I mean, this is a general now. This man drove me in his car by himself with army uniform and I came out. People thought I was a general, so I was just smiling. <laughs> oh, this year, may you hang on somebody's success and smile through it. It mustn't always be your own. You can smile your way through relationships. If they say, yes, you are just a parasite, no problem. At least I'm moving forward. And he went there. When the woman saw the way he was running around, he just told me, sit down. I was embarrassed, frankly. He was running around, doing everything. And um, within 30 minutes, my passport was, uh, was ready. Something they, anyway, follow the protocol. Life is in stages. Don't go and force people in passport office and they throw you out and jail you. But the point is, the woman looked at him and I prayed with her. Then, I think it was last year or year before last, we went to minister in uh, the Nigerian immigration, the, the immigration service in, in Abuja, their chapel. We now went to minister there and after I was done, I was greeting the people. Guess who I saw? That madam. She had been shifted. I looked at her. And I said, ah, mommy, how are you? She was greeting me. She said, oh, I knew there was something about you. And I connected. I greeted her so well. So that if my passport expires again, <laughs> learn how to maintain relationships. See, listen. Please, we are, we, are, we are praying now. I'm teaching you secrets that will really put you on top. There are people who don't have money, but they will never cry. You won't see their tears. There is always somebody. There is always somebody. Hallelujah. What has been your outlook about relationships? People in the world know how to keep this relationship. Have you seen somebody go to drink? No money. Yet he goes to the beer parlor. He even invites an wife. Is it not this joint? Immediately he enters. Oh, God, lucky. How are you there now? And sits down. Give him 10 minutes. Somebody he knows will come in. And he says, bros, you know they and they just say Abba serve him and he would drink and argue about football and argue about everything add pepper soup to it belts and go back home no money but he had a capital called relationships hold the hands of your neighbor I won't harm you with words from my mouth I love you I need you to say it again one more time I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you to survive. May your life never be such that 
you will go in the midst of people who you used to know but there is nobody to help you may that never be your testimony in jesus name please invest in healthy relationships i'm telling you this invest in people are the conduits for miracles somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who can wipe your tears it's amazing to see how close to are how close you are to your miracle if you can just know who leads you there learn how to walk and live with people that's the second point on that relationships hold on mike just pause i want everybody to listen to what i want to say learn how to live and walk with people the bible says he who wants friends must first show himself friendly please you must learn how to live with people many of us are christians but we don't know how to live with people let me tell you what we want a friend is not somebody who is you are you hearing what i'm saying a friend may be somebody who has similar ideologies but it cannot be you there are many of us the only person who can relate with you is another you unfortunately it doesn't exist that you are a friend to people does not mean that they don't make mistakes it doesn't mean they are perfect in themselves there are many of us the lifespan of our friendship is three days you must fight with somebody and it's not necessarily an issue of demonic attack it's just wisdom you don't understand expect disappointment from friends i don't say expect it in a negative way i'm saying make room for it incorporate it as part expect betrayal expect anything and let it not surprise you when it happens god can bring the greatest gold in your life in an imperfect vessel if you know how to look beyond the flaws of men you will find treasures in them that will change your life i don't like this lady she's a jealous lady but she's intelligent and you need her intelligence why don't you ignore the jealousy are we together i don't like this man he's arrogant but he's anointed why don't you quietly let him ignore the arrogance and open up your destiny and go I don't like this woman she's too pompous but she has access to those you need please learn how to work with people i've taught us here but let me repeat for those who have come the highest psychological need of any man this is the key to friendship the lord taught me this the highest psychological need of any man alive is the need to feel loved to feel valued and to feel appreciated never forget this leaders incorporate this as you work with people pastors incorporate this the extent to which comes some the extent to which i make some feel loved and valued is the extent to which we become friends are we together that does not mean i cannot rebuke him that does not mean i cannot talk to him but that he knows fundamentally that even when i rebuke him i love him truly from my heart thank you sam are we together learn to make people feel comfortable around you don't fight people for sustaining ideologies that are different from you you are not a member of this church so don't come near me we are the group of this no we are not a member of this your belief is this you are from which church i don't believe in your pastor okay believe in the person relationships god taught me this i have seen it in my life there are few things I pay for in my life. I am telling you this. And it's not because I'm a man of God. There are few things. Those who walk close to me know. There are few things I pay for in this life. There is always somebody somewhere. And it's just a call away. Do you know how you can help people? Influence is all about connecting with people that gives you access to platforms. Platforms. There are places I minister today, I never, I never would be able to minister, but on the strength of healthy relationships. There are people God has brought into my life today who will die to see me do well. I mean die. They will give their lives literally to see me do well. Do you have such people in your life? If you don't have it, you are poor. If you don't have it, you are poor. Invest in God. 
don't just be bragging around and making people feel bad and you are moving around and looking at, no 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 the person you reject today will rise up faster than you ever imagined and let me tell you something you can change the future but you cannot change history people have memories like elephants you do something wrong after 10 years they will haunt you they don't know whether you have been born again in that 10 years or you've rededicated your life to christ they just say and see this stupid girl i remember her in Zari. she's not the one she's the one and you are coming you are born again you are even a pastor now where a pastor's wife but carelessness of the past will haunt you and you will have to start explaining yourself no i've changed i know i was bad before use the opportunity now little things like fighting over seats to insulting people gossiping about people god is watching your destiny too is watching you must make sure you are friends to people everywhere i go i try to make the people feel honored i greet them have you learned something tonight relationships you want to see multiplied grace let there be multiplied relationships godly relationships you have to honor people you get up in the morning you greet your roommates good morning don't get up and say see if not for condition i won't be in this state you are not my mate at all you are not even my younger brother see please leave all those things don't use age to intimidate anybody you get up you be, and you when they greet you you reciprocate you don't sit down and say uh -huh. how are you good morning all this living your life to yourself i cook my food by myself i don't share with anybody i go to the market by myself you will leave destiny by yourself and that's when you will know how painful it is to ignore people you can have all the money but no access over three people called me today three people called me today to send names for jobs i don't need it three people i'm, I'm serious three people called me today and said ah there's there are some federal government jobs that are opening do you have a few people i said ah yes so i have people i said okay this one will give you one slot this one hurry up and do this it's called influence it's called influence that's what politicians do one letter can wipe your tears this is how miracles happen i'm teaching you wisdom you see me dwelling on this point because many of us have ignored relationships ignored relationships there are certain people that come from other university campuses and other places they come here and i see them i mark their face sometimes when i go around their regions to minister as people are trying to see me I, I look at their face and i say i remember are you not the one that did this bought me what they say yes sir. and i say no 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 let this guy come follow us to our hotel room access i see him looking at his friends i paid the price i came and now i have to go may god give you influence this year access to people quality people in the name of jesus christ hallelujah in the name of jesus christ access to people what you are looking for is in the hand of somebody don't look for that thing look for a relationship with him you will have access to it does a wife a, a good husband and a good wife does the wife really have to say sorry do i have a share in your inheritance all she did was what he got married to her and he also partakes of it stop looking for people's money look for relationships that's why many of us never get blessed you come to a rich man and you are eyeing you just hear making a call say eh, okay transfer 15 add five to it and you're like ah we are in the right place don't allow that attitude to cheat you this year listen i do my possible best to build relationship with people above money I have met millionaires. I have met billionaires. God is my witness. I've never opened my mouth to say, give me one naira. Not because I may not need it. You kill relationships unnecessarily when your motive is revealed to be wrong. So pay the price. It's not easy, but as much as it's within your power, focus on relationship, not this. There are people who come and meet a man of God. They don't want relationship. They just want anointing man of god i've heard of all the things you are doing and i need the same result and then they kneel down and raise one envelope they say i came with this as if I, 
you know, you almost feel like telling them, my brother, please stand up and walk away. Because he would think something came upon him, but nothing really happened. It's just that sometimes when they disturb you, you just do it so they will go. But you and God know that nothing really happened. Relationship. Elijah had the sons of the prophet, but Elisha followed him and established a relationship. Finally, how to walk in the prophetic world. There are two laws I want you to never forget. Number one is the law of encounter. It's changed my life. I've taught us. Jeremiah 29, 13. He says, and ye will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. He says, and ye shall seek me and find me is one powerful law that has worked in my life encounter is what births transformation when you encounter god when you encounter a dimension of him it will speak in your life please respect the law of encounter press for his presence press for his presence press for his presence allow people to run around and move around but stay i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting on you lord i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting on you. Seek God with all your heart this year. Be, be addicted to his presence. Don't just do it as a koinonia thing. I told you God said, tell them to give me time. When you give God time, he will reveal his glory in your life. Number two, the law of honor. This is the key for impartation. Honor. Honor. Let me talk for two minutes on honor. Hebrews 7 verse 7 says, And without contradiction, the lesser, listen, God has already designed his system. The lesser is blessed of the greater. Every dimension you want to enter is somebody's current experience. If you know how to honor your way, you will honor your way cheap into anointings honor is so powerful it can bring the harvest of somebody into your life hallelujah i'm a product of many anointings i have mastered the law of honor you must learn this learn this honor your way into unbelievable dimensions of grace honor your way into people's lives honor your way into their anointing honor the house of God the Bible says honor all men it says honor the king when you have that attitude of honor I'm telling you the sky will only be a starting point for you this year I've made up my mind to honor every grace I come across genuinely and truthfully that's why we provide buses it's a symbol of honor we spend a lot there but we will never stop because it's a seed of honor I don't know what graces you carry it's a privilege to be a preacher but it does not mean i am better than you there are people carrying graces here that i probably am praying for when i'm able to honor you by helping out to take you to your destination it's a seed of honor that will bring impartation it's a big secret in this ministry you honor people first from your heart not just through money Money is important. But the, the principal way of honor is to esteem a man and esteem the grace he carries truly. Both the person and the office he represents. Not just office. The person and the office. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. There are many platforms that are available this year to bless us. The koinonia services are there. The school of ministry is there. The forms will be out immediately during the announcement. We will announce it right this night. The forms will be out. There are many platforms. Plunge into it. 
don't be half-hearted you will be cheated if you are staying plunge yourself and see what god does in your life please rise up on your feet and let's pray please participate in the prayer because there is a prophecy that i want to release on us lift up your voice and thank the lord for this word supernatural grace multiplied grace multiplied grace multiplied grace lift your voice inside and outside bless the lord almighty the god of the heavens and the earth bless him it's a good year for the body of christ it's a good year for the body of christ it's a good year for koinonia by the spirit of the living god Mando protocosco preta catele poco to presca de bala la bala la bala la bala la bala. Shekata preca tele poco ya la bala bala. Hallelujah. Just three prayer points quickly. Prayer point number one. I like you to pray and say, Lord, I receive your word and I will run with it this year. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lord, I receive it. I receive your word as a believer. I receive your word. Sheka bakata la poko soto preach. Mande kala cross kada bread na kapari adabash. Are you praying, Koinonia? Lord, we receive your word. Shembre tos koto pra kata balarabash. But I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded. I am persuaded that He is able. He is able. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number two. Lord, make me addicted to your presence this year. That I will seek you. I will seek your word. I will seek prayer. I will seek your presence. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Oh, shake it. Lord, I seek you this year like never before. Like never before. I seek you with all my heart, all my might, all my soul. Pray. Revival to my prayer life. Revival to my word study life. Give me encounter, so called supernatural visitations this year. Dreams, visions, encounters with the power of the Holy Ghost that will take me to a new dimension in the spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number three. Lord, this year will be a year of results. I must hold on to tangible evidences. Lift your voice. Results. This must be a year of results. Outside, are you praying? This must be a year of results. Hey, Pocoto Shekete Lekos. 
there must be proofs in my life there must be evidences in my life miracles signs wonders the demonstration of the power of God the demonstration of the word of God in my life in my ministry pray in my business in my education in my family there must be results in 2016 there must be results in the name of jesus there must be results in the name of jesus there must be results in the name of Jesus there must be results in the name of Jesus there must be results hallelujah the Bible says let your light shine before men that they may see it when men see there is a level of notable results you can argue all kinds of things but you can't argue results it says that they may glorify your father in heaven the last prayer point listen please i want you to pray this with all your heart father connect me to influential relationships this year just pray what i'm asking you to pray Lift your voice. Connect me to men of influence across different strata. Men who will allow me ride on their success. Men who will allow me ride on their anointings. Men who will allow me ride on their influence. Men who will endorse me. Pray. Shekete koto sekete. Oh, send thou help to Zion, O great one. In the name of Jesus, send thou help to your people. Supernatural connections that will give you in one day the labor of other people's lifetime. Man of influence in every mountain. Man of influence in the government men of influence in finance men of influence in the educational realm oh god that in every area raise men to stand for me raise men to speak for me raise men to advocate for me make my life easy this year pray make my life easy this year as I serve you, let there be ease in my life. I rise upon the influence of many. I rise upon the strength of quality relationships. On common access. On common doors. On common resources. On common encounters. Hallelujah. Please, when you go back, I'd like all of you to listen to two teachings. Activating, I mean, um, activating breakthroughs. The ministry of destiny help us. Listen to it again, no matter how many times you've listened to it. And then listen to activating seasons of greatness. Sit on that teaching and cry your heart unto God hallelujah i want to prophesy over your life please i want you to believe it believe it many of us ignore the power of prophecy to our detriment 
listen you don't god created provision you don't have to struggle your way by yourself there are people that have been put strategically to help you you can reject the help to your detriment there are people who have traveled far and near there are whole families in this place travel distances and hours just to come some of you are within reach yet you will not open up your heart don't let people come and receive their blessings and go back and you are there just make up your mind the bible said by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt he said by a prophet they were preserved it's not human worship there may be exaggerations here and there but it does not mean prophecy is powerful it can frame your reality please i want you to believe it prophecy is very powerful this is the crux of the meeting tonight because it will give you direction listen let me tell you how prophecy works look up i know our time is gone but let me just use one example come anybody prophecy is like a charm listen when it is spoken it leaves as i'm speaking it's like a charm it comes upon you and creates an effect it makes things that should not have happened happen listen i told you the most superior the, of dimension of the prophetic is not the revelatory dimension the creative dimension of the prophetic is the most superior dimension the revelatory dimension is important it gives you direction and builds faith but the creative dimension is what is responsible for creating your reality i prophesied as i was commanded he said and there was a sound it's not like the sound was wrong it was never there prophecy called it prophecy calls things that be not as though they are lift your hands as i speak over your life father let there be results in the name of jesus in the name that is above all names i speak unto you an unusual anointing that will step you into encounters with the Holy Ghost. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. A dimension of unction that you have never functioned in. In the name that is above all names. I prophesy that this year you will ride upon a river an unction that will take you to superior levels in the spirit oh i command it to be so in the spirit i command it to be so in the spirit i pray for you the mark of favor that can come upon a man and produce uncommon access in the name that is above all names may that mark come upon your life right now i prophesy to you may that mark come upon your life right now may that mark come upon your life right now listen honor is an anointing there is an anointing that can come upon a man and make him honorable he says and Jabez was more honorable that anointing that makes men honorable i release it upon you right now or oh, in 2016 receive that anointing for honor uncommon honor god will position men to celebrate your grace they will appreciate you they will sow into your grace I pray for you this year. May the spirit of revelation, illumination, and insight into the mysteries and the operation of the kingdom, I release it upon you right now oh eyes to see eyes to see i release it upon you on common dimension of access 
to spiritual realities i release it upon you like a mantle in the name of the lord jesus my goodness there are strange impartations strong impartations that are happening to people by the anointing of the holy ghost by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus i release impartations of this unction the spirit of revelation strange levels of access in the spirit i open to you fountains fountains of light in the spirit i open you up to mysteries i open you up to mysteries in the name of jesus i open you up to mysteries strange operation of mysteries hallelujah hear me every person who you must connect to to rise wherever they are is called a year of multiplied influence i'm prophesying to you please believe me from the north to the south the east and the west every anointing every grace you must connect to to rise I release access to you in the name of Jesus access to people access to anointings access to opportunities in the name of Jesus oh connect with influential people I release that anointing upon you receive it connect to influential people receive it right now influence influence I stand upon this apostolic office and I prophesy supernatural influence connect to people in government connect to people everywhere in the name of Jesus they will listen to you when you speak they will rise up to help you rise up for you every door that refused to open in 2005 in the name of Jesus under this multiplied grace we compel that door to open in the name of Jesus every door that refused to open every obstacle that refused to let you go right now in the name of Jesus I command that door open now open now hear me I prophesy to your loved ones this year we force results in your family hear me again this year we command results in your family may the angel that has been assigned to koinonia the angels that have been dispatched to honor this prophetic word may they go to every family and begin to cause the word of god to come alive listen some of you it will not reach 24 hours your result will start coming believe me it will not reach 24 hours your results will start coming dramatic results listen koinonia you will hear testimonies this year that will make you afraid people will come and stand here and you will think they are lying because of the breakthrough upon breakthrough upon breakthrough receive it in the name of jesus christ i bless the work of your hands this year may an anointing come upon it in the name of jesus for students i pray a level of grace and ease that you have never seen a level of superior intelligence i release it upon you right now i release it upon you right now listen this is the year of jubilee and i prophesy to you the opening of gates to every age-long challenge prophetically and even historically this is the season of jubilee and in the season of jubilee you let go captives i command every captivity in this season of jubilee 
it must let you go right now in the name of jesus christ take god seriously more than ever before begin to press into god you've been coming for koinonia you are not a worker in any department locate a department and set up and commit yourself commit yourself to prayer commit yourself to the, to the word make sure you listen to some of the announcements i'm supposed to bring because they are very strategic now very quickly our time is gone but very quickly there are people outside and inside everybody please keep standing there are people here you were invited some of you have been here and you are making a decision for jesus tonight you are saying lord i don't want to start off this year my own way i've lived my life the way i want to live but i've heard your word some of you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time some of you have given your life to christ but for whatever reason you found yourself derailing this is the time to make it right please it's important we all start on a good note wherever you are inside and outside please i'd like you to make your way i'll just count one to five for the sake of our time those who are coming back to jesus christ and those who are saying man of god lead me to jesus i want to see him take me from glory to glory i want you to make your way right now and come to the front one celebrate them as they come please please make sure you start coming there are people outside clear the way for them give jesus praise you must start 2016 correctly god bless you keep coming there are still people inside sitting down when you hear the voice of the lord jesus christ know that that voice is to you no matter what you have done make up your mind going on and celebrate them as they come the lord is changing their destinies tonight believe me this is an encounter that will change your life forever is an encounter that will begin new things three there are still more people inside and outside there are still more people inside and outside please don't sit back the lord is speaking to you make your way to the front make your way to the front very quickly no matter how far you are find your way to the front don't be ashamed don't be afraid until you are born again you cannot connect with what god is doing please believe me sin will keep the presence of god far from any man sin will rob you from stepping into the reality see it's not really just the sin it is our refusal to open up ourselves he said if we confess our sin god is faithful and just to forgive us of every sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness i like all of you in front here to lift your right hand there are people here young and old lift your right hand to jesus and i want you to say it from the depth of your heart you are not just reciting a poem oftentimes people come out but they, they are just joking as if they are reciting a poem mean this from your heart jesus is here say after me lord jesus i believe in you tonight i have heard your word i declare that you are my lord you are my savior this night i receive you into my heart be my lord and be my savior the power of sin the power of the flesh is broken over my life i declare that i'm a child of god my past is rolled away and god gives me a new beginning in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted let me pray for you father i thank you for these precious people that you have brought out they have heard your word and they have responded to it my god and my king i pray that you change their lives forever may the power of sin the flesh and the world be broken in their lives forever i pray that out of these ones you will make mighty men and women of god in the name of jesus the grace to continue in the faith is released upon you in jesus name you will never never return to what you just left off in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you
God bless you. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Hold on. Thank you very much for making this decision. We still want to follow you up. And there are people who will do that. I'd like you to follow the lady waving her hands. They will have your, emo your, your, um, your email and your contact. And then we are going to um, follow you up. And then let you know uh, the things we do and guide you. God bless you. Please follow them. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.